throughout my entrepreneurial experience that the key for me is quality control and cost control. Factually, that especially on the container carrier side, but certainly also for many logistics companies, everybody is sitting on, to make it a bit black and white, a pile of cash like we've never seen before. Now, everybody knows that was a one-time windfall. So the question is, what are all these companies going to use that money for going forward? Are they going to be used wisely? But are you seeing traction? How ready is the industry actually to make change? Uh, the answer to that question is I don't know yet. We're very early in the process. We have only built the four prototype containers. We're starting our manufacturing with CIMC in China in June. And we're going to find out exactly how receptive the industry is to a technology innovation like our containers. However, I, I, I want to go back to a comment that was made earlier about profit. It's not a bad word. I've learned throughout my entrepreneurial experience that the key for me is quality control and cost control. And in every thing that I've ever done, I've always tried to emphasize quality control and cost control. And if you do that, the revenue will take care of itself and your bottom line will grow. So I think you always have to look at how do I manage that bottom line and, and I think reducing the cost. I don't know what the experience is around the world, but where we are, we, we are really limited in our ability to expand our infrastructure. Uh, we, we, have, we just don't have it. The Long Beach port, for example, is landlocked. They can't expand. And, and we're looking, you know, in America, for example, we have a shortage of 60,000 truck drivers. The demand is there. Every time a truck goes by, you see a sign on the back of the truck, we're hiring. So part of the solution to that is to reduce the number of transports. And that's what we're trying to do. So we're trying to implement an innovation to bring down cost, to bring down congestion, and to add sustain true sustainability, something that really is trackable uh, and that is to reduce the carbon footprint of the shipping industry.